lots of new products to try and I must confess never tried cleaning kinds before so it'll be a new one on me uh, we've got the composite cleaning pencil it's a propelling type pencil which you can have different inserts there's a hard insert and there's a soft insert there's a brush brush insert and there's a refill pack and when you're done cleaning your coin up you've got some preserve it wax so I'm going to give these a go as I said I haven't used one before so I'll be interested to see a how, how it cleans it up and B if I can clean the coins or will I mess them up so join me on my first adventures to cleaning coins okay what I have for you today is a cleaning pencil a composite cleaning pencil this is the pencil itself it's the propelling type and the pencil comes with two inserts comes with a black insert which is the hard composite and if you just press the end down you can slip the insert in there so that is your black insert which is the hard one and it also comes with a softer composite again press the end down pop in the insert easy as that depending on the length that you have out at the end if you have it a bit longer then you'll give a bit more flex when you're cleaning the coins if you want it stiffer move it in more so you have a shorter nib extras for the pen you can get a little bra brass insert again end down Popper in there, and there's your brass insert. That's good for brushing away deposits on coins. So that, as I say, is an extra. It doesn't come with the, the standard kit. You get two inserts and a, a little pouch, which you can store your pen in nicely. There's a range of different stuff you can find on cleaningpencil.com. They also do a, a, a preserve it wax. This is a wax you apply after you've cleaned and that will um, cure and protect your coin or artifact indeed. So I've never cleaned a coin before. I've got a few grotty Roman coins. Wouldn't really suggest attacking a, a really good, uh, valuable find. I'm going to have a bash. I'll never go. You can buy extra refills. They come in a composite refill pack, and you get three white, which are the soft composites, and one black, which is the harder composite. Now. If you've seen my previous video about the Regton coin cube, this would be uh, an ideal time to say uh, it's a, a great addition to your coin cleaning. Normally, if you've got a coin, you're going to be pressing down hard with your fingers and doing your cleaning, and then it will get your fingers in the end far better to invest a bit more get yourself a coin cube from Regton Limited and then you can clamp your coin in I've got a small Roman in there and then you're free to do your cleaning and it's less 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 fatigue on your hand I'm gonna set myself up to clean the coin probably that one there the Roman and well, it's the first time I've done it, so if you've never done it as well, well, just watch and see how I get on. Okay, well, this is first for me. I've got the black insert in. That's the hard composite. I'm going to push it in so it's nearly all the way in, but there's like a little a, a size of a bee sting. I've got a coin 
in the Regton coin cube, clamped nice and securely. It's not going to go anywhere. As I say, these, these coin cubes are great. There's so many different sizes of uh, recesses for different sizes of coins. Right, I should probably speed this up because it'd be a, it'd be a long and a boring video if I didn't. So I'm just going to start and then all, it's always good to have good eyesight. Now, I must, I'll freely admit I have not got the best eyesight. I've got glasses on, but it's still going to be a bit of a challenge to me. I think uh, if you're like me, probably uh, invest in a good magnifier, but we'll give it a go as I am with my glasses and uh, we'll see we go. So I'll just I've never done it before. I've watched a few videos. Tell me if I'm doing it wrong. And as I say, I'm not using anything fantastic. So I mess it up. I'm not going to be crying over it. You probably can't, but I can see the gunk coming off as I speak. Um, nothing major yet. This is not a terribly gunked up one, but I was just curious to see how I get on with it. So I'm gonna keep quiet, do a bit of this, and see you at the end with what I hope is a slightly better coin. I found out of the uh, soft and hard composite, the soft compound, the white one, if you leave the nib out a bit, was more effective than the hard black one. Let's see any more crud coming off with the with the soft compound. And I've only been doing it for five or ten minutes. You can see it's a bit of a painstaking process, but you can see that the crud's coming off. This wasn't overly crudded, but I thought I'd use it for my first attempt just to see if I can get some detail. Also, I'm a little bit <laughs> wary that I might be doing it wrong. So, for the, those of you out there who know what you're doing, you can tell me what I'm doing wrong. But I'm trying to be careful and take me time. But the coin cube is great. I can just imagine the pain you get on your fingers when you're pressing down to try and hold the coins still and the cube is great it's very very secure it's not going to go anywhere so if you haven't got one I do recommend you get a, a coin cube it 
And I think this side's coming up a wee bit better. As I say, I'm going slow. I've left a little rubber bandy thing on the fast brush. Not sure if I'm supposed to, but I, my thinking is that just stops the bristles from splaying out. Again, if I'm doing it wrong, you tell me. You can actually see the crud coming off with the brush. It's quite, quite good. I just thought I'd um, give a thimble a clean. I've got a, a, a very damaged silver thimble. And uh, although you can see it's silver, I just thought I'd give it a, a little brush with the with the uh, brass brush and well I think that's come up rather nice. You can definitely see detail around the base of the thing where I couldn't really make it out before. So yeah gentle clean up with that it's come up a treat. Yeah. So if you want something to do over the, the lockdown period, treat yourself to a composite cleaning pencil. Maybe go the extra mile and get yourself a uh, brass brush to go with it. And of course, go for your Recton coin cube and have fun. Thanks for watching. I dare say some people point out where I've gone wrong, but hey, it's the first for me. And um, you know, I just thought I'd give it a go. I hope the video is of some help to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon.